Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to solve combinations and permutations on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. To do this we'll be needing to use the PRB key or the probability key. Looks like this and locate, is located just to here. Alright, so for combinations, which means choosing a certain number of objects from a set in which the order does not matter. For this example, we'll use 10 choose 4, or selecting 4 objects from a set of 10. To start, we place the 10 on the screen, and then press the PRB key. That brings up this menu, and we want to go to the right once, select the NCR, press enter. There we go, 10, NCR, and then 4. This means 10, choose 4, and we press equals, and we get a result of 210, which tells us there is 210 possible ways to choose 4 from a set of 10 when the order does not matter. Another example, if we place 100 on the screen, press the PRB, go over to NCR, press enter, and 3. So choosing 3 from a set of 100 when the order doesn't matter equals, there we go, there's 161,700 possible ways to do this. And for permutations, it's done much the same way. A permutation is choosing a number of objects from a set when the order does matter. So if we wanted to choose 4 objects from a set of 10, when the order does matter, again we place the 10 on the screen, press the PRB key, and since the NPR is highlighted we press enter, and 4, there we go, 10 NPR 4, and equals 5040. So that tells us there are 5040 possible permutations or ways to choose 4 from a set of 10 when the order does matter. Another example, let's say choosing 3 from a set of 100 when the order does matter. So 100, PRB, NPR, yeah, and then 3, 100, NPR, 3, equals 970,200. So there we go. There are 970,200 possible permutations of choosing 3 from a set of 100. Alright, hope this helps guys, and good luck on those tests out there.